Hello everyone. Welcome to CATIA tutorial. I am B. Rakesh, Assistant Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Kids Warangal. In this video lecture, I am going to explain how to construct the given assembly modeling individual components. Here, one assembly modeling is given that name is universal coupling. The universal coupling having uh, different components. The major components are uh, this fork and uh, the cylindrical shape and this bolt and nut. So in this part one video, I will show you how to construct the uh, given uh, universal coupling, the major component that is fork. You can take any part, the part having three views. We can see in three views that it means front view, top view and side view. Here fork also having uh, front view. You, you can see from this side, this C shape appear in the front view. When you are seeing from this top side, this cylindrical cylinder is appear like rectangle and uh, this curvature features also appear. When you are and uh, this halo shape is also appear in the top view. When you are seeing from this left side view, uh, this halo portion and cylindrical cross section is appear in the left side view. Uh, now going to CATIA VPI software that is uh, invoke port design for modeling of the given pork universal coupling pork in CATIA VPI. For activating port design the shortcut key is control W. In the specification tree it's showing three different types of planes that means XY plane uh, by using XY plane we can draw the top view top view features when you are choosing YZ plane you can construct uh, uh, front view feature sketches ZX means uh, you can draw the side view features in ZX plane now I am going to construct uh, this fork front view so I am choosing YZ plane then click sketch tool now the YZ plane is activated that means isometric plane is converted into orthographic plane in this YZ plane uh, you can construct the front view features when you are seeing from this front view side this C cross section is appear uh, for constructing this C cross section I am going to construct first uh, this rectangle shape this rectangle uh, dimensions are width is 0.6D and height is 0.5D plus 2.2D plus 0.5D. You can observe here, here all the dimensions are given in terms of D, capital D. Let us assume uh, D value is 50 mm. So you can multiply uh, this fraction number with 50 mm, that means 0.6D into 0.6D equal to 0.6 into 50 mm that value is 30 mm you can also uh, open a calculator in the laptop or uh, desktop standard calculator 0 0.6 into 50 the value is that is similarly you can calculate the remaining values and write uh, write on this paper <coughs> now I'm taking uh, center rectangle from profile toolbar draw one center rectangle and apply the constraints this width is 0 0.6 D that means uh, 0 0.6 into 50 mm that means 30 mm before going to apply the constraints, you need to check the units are uh, units are in millimeters or inches. Go to the tools options. General parameter measure in this window you can choose units. Length is millimeters. Otherwise you can change the symbol by using uh, this triangle symbol you can access from here then click ok 
the width is 30 mm and height is 0 0.5 plus 2.2 plus 0 0.5 that means 3.2d 3.2 into 50 mm that is 160 mm 160 mm then click enter then uh, up then uh, for extruding for extruding you can choose pad tool now exit from this window choose pad tool the thickness is thick, that means width is 1.8d 1.8 into 50 mm that means 90 here I am taking a mirror extension so 90 by 2 means 45 mm then click ok here uh, left side we are having one cylindrical shape is there so uh, that left side just you, you can select the left surface then click sketch tool draw the circle on this uh, rectangular surface draw the circle apply the constraint the diameter of this circle is 1.8d 1.8 into 50 mm that means 90 mm 90 mm then click enter here one more constraint is there the center of this cylinder to top surface height is 1.6d 1.6 into 50 that means 80 mm center point and top surface here the default value is also 80 so no need to apply this constant just you can remove it now exit from this workbench uh, this circle uh, extrusion value is 1.1d that means by using pad tool apply the extrusion that is 1.1d 1.1 into 50 55 mm now again I am choosing this surface, this cylinder top surface then click sketch tool draw the one more circle <coughs> uh, draw the one more circle The circle diameter is D. Apply the dimension that is 50 mm. Here one rectangular keyhole is there. By using uh, center rectangle, you can construct uh, one rectangle here. Uh, by using quick, quick trim tool, remove the unwanted lines. remove this line this line this line and this curve here this rectangular key dimensions are not given let us assume this rectangular key height is 5 5 mm and width is 8 mm now apply the constraint that is 5 mm this rectangular key width is uh, 8 mm now exit from this workbench here this is the hollow uh, shape so that's why I am choosing uh, uh, pocket tool the depth is 55 mm then click ok ok after completion of this part you need to construct this uh, this rectangular top edge and bottom edge now I am going to construct this uh, top edge for that purpose uh, I am choosing uh, this top surface then click sketch tool fit all in here 
uh, one curve edge is there the curve edge radius is 0.8 d for constructing this curve edge i am choosing circle this uh, on y axis i am going to uh, construct one circle this circle diameter is uh, radius is 0.8 d double click for change the value change the radius 0.8 d that means 40 mm then click ok here one more constant is the distance between uh, this cylindrical edge and circle center point the distance between this circular uh, cylindrical uh, end edge and uh, the circle center point that is 2.6 d that means 130 130 mm next uh, here one more uh, small circle is there the circle diameter is 0 0.6 d now again i am choosing circle to from center of previous circle, I am going to construct 0.6 d circle. 0 0.6 into 50 mm, that is 30 mm diameter. Then click OK. This time, uh, again I am changing this dimension. That is the diameter, so that's why I am uh, changing from radius to diameter. The diameter is 30 mm. Then click OK. Here, uh, by using line tool, you can connect this circle circle to this rectangular edge. Okay, I'm going to ex uh, extract one edge from this uh, rectangular uh, solid. Project 3D elements by using Project 3D elements. Here, one edge is. Uh, that means one line is extracted from this rectangle solid. Now I'm going to uh, choose. I'm going to choose by tangent line from profile toolbar. Now I'm choosing this curve and uh, this line endpoint. Here, as tangents is not relevant with a point or a line, only coincidence has been taken into account then click ok similarly you can ch uh, choose the same tool applying to the right side this circle curve and uh, line end point then click ok now by using quick trim tool remove the unwanted curves or lines this is the procedure to construct this top surface sketch then click then exit from this workbench by with the help of pad tool apply the width reverse direction here the width of this cross section is 0 0.5 d 0 0.5 into 50 mm that is 25 mm then click ok uh, this cross section is this shape is uh, appear to another side so with the help of symmetry uh, mirror option we can apply the same uh, same feature to right side of uh, this sketch this is symmetrical with respect to xy plane go to the inset transformation features choose mirror select uh, xy plane then click ok This is the procedure to construct the fork in 
Catia VPI software. This is the front view. This is the top view. This is the side view. Now you can save this file in your local disk for future reference. Save control S. The part name is fork. Universal coupling fork. Here the extension file name is dot cat part C A T P E R T. I hope this is very clear to everyone. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe my channel for more more videos. Here, uh, one more important point is uh, here uh, this edge having one uh, round corner shape is there. By using dresser features, insert dresser features. That means edge fillet. Apply the uh, round shape by using edge fillet. Select this edge. Uh, I'm giving the radius is 50 m, 10 mm. Then click OK. Similar to give the curvature portion to other side. Select uh, this edge. Dresser feature. The radius is 10 mm. Again, save this file. Control S. I hope this is very clear to everyone. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe my channel for more updates.